Hi guys and welcome. So this week we are going to be working on some of these really cool looking rose paintings. They're very simple to do, anyone can do them at home, and you should have most of the materials to do this. Um, you will need watercolors. Um, if you do not have watercolors or any type of food coloring that you can mix with a little bit of water, um, you could always just use crayons or markers or color pencils uh, for this. It doesn't have to be paint, okay? All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our drawing first. So I'm just gonna draw all of the roses that I want and these are just gonna be normal circles. So I'm just gonna draw a few circles. I'm gonna draw some big circles, some small circles, you know, some medium sized ones. Then I'm just kind of drawing them all over my paper. Okay. Then after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some leaves, which are just a lemon shape or a football shape. So I'm just keeping it simple like this. And I'm just kind of drawing them all over, just kind of floating, floating around. Maybe I want one here and a little one right there. Okay. And just for like another extra little zazz, I can put like a little swirly here and a little swirly here. Just for decoration. Okay, so once I've got all of my roses and my petals drawn, I mean my leaves drawn, I'm gonna start drawing on the inside of my rose. So the way that I do this is pretty simple. So you can pause or rewind however you need to. Start by drawing just a simple curved line at the top and then I kind of overlap it a little bit. So I kind of start a little bit down here in the middle like the top part of my crescent shape and then I draw another crescent shape kind of going all the way down. And I'm sort of like stacking these layers on top of each other. Okay, so as we see that I'm kind of just trying to layer them. So I've got four all the way around and then I'm just going to start again from the middle part of the last line that I drew. Okay, starting again from the middle part of the last line I drew. I'm going around, starting from the middle part, again from the middle. Okay. And then I'll just keep going all the way around. And I'm always going from the middle of the line that I just drew before that. Okay, And then there you go. So you're going to do that for the other roses here. And then after that, you're going to add some little details to your petals. I mean, your leaves. I keep calling them petals. So I just draw a little straight line and some leaf lines on one side. You can do it on both, but I'm just gonna leave it on one just so it's easier. Because what I'm going to do after I get my drawing done is I'm going to take a black crayon and I'm going to outline my painting, okay? Or my, uh, my drawings here. So I'm gonna do that before I start painting. It's going to make it look like it already has an outline so you don't have to worry about drawing over a wet painting or anything like that the lines will pretty much already come with the picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish outlining and then after that we will get to painting. I finished my painting and I can put it somewhere to dry. Now it's okay if your paint kind of drips off to the side, that's okay, that will happen. Uh, that's why it's important to have paper that's really going to be able to soak up the water if you use paints. 
If you're just using markers or color pencils or crayons, then you don't have to worry about this part. But I thought this was a really cool and fun way to draw roses and um, maybe give you a creative way to create some, you know, gift cards for your loved ones for the holidays or Valentine's Day for Mother's Day, whatever you feel is appropriate. So I can't wait to see what you guys create on this super easy rose painting tutorial and I will see you on the next video. Bye!